to be completely honest with you all, some people don't like, uh, you know, the mics in their videos, but honestly, I think it makes people look more professional. That's just my opinion, because I, if you have the mic in the shot like this, like a professional mic, uh, the blue snowball, no, isn't professional at all, because I have the arm right here, arm stand. I can't, yeah, my arm stand. It looks really cool, and I want it in the shot. But because this is so high up, because I'm so freakishly tall for my age, and I want the mic closer to me, so this actually helps. The mic used to be, like, under the camera, and now it's here, and it's actually, it's amazing. I really like it. My brother got me this for my birthday. ISO is, like, all the way down, which is good, because for recording videos, here's a tip. If you're recording videos with a DSLR camera, ISO should be as low as you can go. I turned it all the way down because I got two lights going, because, see, without this light and this light you can't see anything this would be cool to do a video like this but you know I don't want to do that so yeah why am I still talking I'm supposed to <laughs> hello welcome to uh, master tips with <sighs> there's a cobweb up here what in the world welcome to uh, YouTube tips with master Eth. this is an unscripted video no bullet points whatsoever just like however youtuber does it uh, I'm sure they have some bullet points, but you know what? Why don't we get two videos out in uh, one recording session? Why not? This video isn't planned. It's just me rambling in my YouTube studio space, which, oh darn it, I forgot to clean that off. Now I look like a slob. Here, let's just, how YouTubers clean their space. You take everything and shove it under your bed. So, you know, future Master Eth can can worry about that later. Now, boom, done, finished. Now it's, as you can see, I'm, gonna, I'm shining a light on the situation. Hey, jokes. Yeah, the life of a YouTuber. I would know because I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. There's a difference. See, YouTuber gets paid for his work. Content creator does not get paid for his work. Instead, he uses it as a hobby. That's how all YouTubers start out, as a hobby. YouTube is a hobby for me. And for now it is, anyways. I, I should title this video, How YouTubers Record Their Videos. <laughs> the Everyday Life of a YouTuber. That's off cam. Wait, no, but that makes no sense because I'm on cam. So people have said that they like this setup, which I do too, but for the types of videos that I film now, I barely record like this, like camera here, lamp here, light up there. Shining my beautiful face. I, I want to record my videos like this, more topical videos, but for some of the topics that I want to cover, maybe in a future video, I think the animations, which people really like, are good for that sort of thing so you know that's what I think this is just uh, my thoughts honestly so I want to get videos out good videos out there uh, but I don't want to create another reacting to memes video because that video did so great I'm just the camera's a person that's just how I no no don't, don't start yawning no stop it great now I'm PewDiePie I'm walking all over the set hello everybody I don't know I think standing while doing videos is really fun and side note that's how i actually record my uh, top 10 ways to be the, the most popular youtuber of all time because i i did it in this voice and it was it was great and everything no people hated that video and i kind of not hate but i look back on it now and i learn some stuff from it because in every one of my videos i always learn something from it like no matter what as long as i learn something from it that always helps this video is a rambly mess. There's no point to it. It's just me talking. Part of it is giving tips. Part of it is like, hey, this is what I'm doing. <sighs> There's dust everywhere. Oh my goodness. Some of my subscribers make videos, a few of them. Most of them are casual watchers, so I understand that. So giving tips to casual viewers is like teaching a blind man to see colors. You know, it's kind of, it's pointless. I should do this every time I record, just talk until I get comfortable, because I know I'm comfortable, but starting to record right away is always a, is always a thing. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's great. I should do like one of these, like a, not a real talk, because those are always like mellow and like, hey guys, it's Master Ethan. No, because I'm trying to fluctuate my voice. I don't know. I kind of want to do a series where I talk before uh, I start actually recording and upload it. Edit it, of course. Inner thoughts with Master Eth. I think that's what we'll call it. Because I'm just not, I don't have a script, don't have bullet points. It's just me talking. 
and some of it is good, some of it is bad. But you know what? Inner thoughts with Master Reith. I think that'll become a th series. And now this is the point where I ask you, hey, leave a comment below if you want inner thoughts with Master Reith more often. Because either way, I'm probably still going to do it, depending on how well I think this video turned out. So yeah. Oh wait, I didn't do my outro, darn it. So, uh, that's been another inner thoughts with uh, Master Eth.